Hello, and welcome to my new format of Paleo News. I finally found the freaking microphone on my uh, laptop. Been searching forever for that thing. Uh, I'm gonna see how it goes when I start doing the show this way. I think the audio has improved and you can hear me more clearly. Uh, tell me what you think, if this works better or not than actually doing it from a video camera. Uh, the only downside is, is now you can't see my awesome face. Oh well, deal with it. <laughs> uh, let's get started. Uh, in an earlier video, I told you that they found a new human species named Homo gotengensis. There's now new speculation that this uh, species may have been a cannibal. Dr. Darren Kerno, an anthropologist that identified him, said that his skull appeared to have been defleshed, either for ritual burial or cannibalistic consumption. Uh, they said along, they found burned bones. The marks suggest, and the burn marks suggest that uh, man was quote was certainly on the menu for Homo gotengensis unquote. Uh, the only thing they say that might disprove this is that his teeth were more adapted for eating plant material, uh, nuts and berries and leaves and stuff like that. And some other information is that he had the longest arms of any. He was about three feet tall, I guess. Uh, there's more in the article if you want to read it. So I'll put it in the down description. And uh, so they either found a normal new human species or they found a distant relative of the Donner Party. Uh, while we're on the human subject, they found remains of turtles, crocodiles, and fish in Kenya. They're 1.9 million years old and they think uh, these bones were butchered and they believe that these were eaten by uh, early humans. And that, that's how we evolved bigger brains, is that these early humans are eating the sea life. They also found uh, other mammals like a hippo, antelope, uh, rhinoceros. Um, there's a lot more in the article if you want to read it. I found this at a website called, this article, Daily Reptile News. There's also a YouTube channel uh, that I found a couple days ago about this. Um, it's Reptile411, and what this guy does, he, he makes daily news videos on reptiles. So if you want to check out that channel, I advise you to do so because they are pretty cool. I'll put a link to the channel in there uh, as well. Uh, but yeah, eating sea life may have gave us bigger brains back in the early days. And also, they believe now that woolly mammoths have eaten their own doo-doo. <laughs> they found evidence of... Uh, uh, the University of Amsterdam found fungus spores deep inside a piece of mammoth dung that can only grow on the outside of the dung. The only way that can happen is if the mammoth eats the fungus, which means eating its own poo. Uh, they say this is the second uh, evidence to support a uh, mammoth uh, eating their own dung. Uh, the first was in 2006, but the article does not say what evidence that was, or maybe it does, but I just completely misread it. Um, I don't know. Uh, but they think, uh, eating their own crap was, uh, a natural healthy part of the man, so it's completely normal for them. And my last piece of news is more on a dinosaur mommy. No, it's not Leonardo, it's, it's not the Brachylophosaurus. It's an Edmontosaurus named Dakota. Uh, I read about this, uh, mummy being found couple years back or a few years back I remember this is this article is just uh, explaining the updates on the fossil uh, 1,000 pounds of rock have been removed 75% of the dinosaur is uh, nearly out and now they're seeing fossilized skin ligaments tendons and hopefully they're seeing some internal organs as well the guts so now there's a second mummy well there's lots of mummies but uh, Another mummy out there that uh, proves to be really, really cool. And there's more in the article as well. Well, that is all of my news for this time. I will be back here again. Uh, if you like the new format, uh, please tell me. And uh, until then, have a groovy day, guys. I'll see you soon. Well, I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>